Andy's going to college. Can you believe it? I'm Simon Thompson and I'm at Pixar Studios in San Francisco to talk to the cast and crew of Toy Story 3. Hello, I'm Simon Thompson and this is The Big Picture. This is Inside Hollywood. Joining me now in the studio is the film critic Simon Thompson. Thanks for coming on, Simon. And how did you know Tony Scott? It is really good to see you. It's been like two years. I know. What have you been up to? Kicking it, missing you. That's very nice of you to say so. Yeah. I've, genu I've genuinely missed you, and you must have been missing London me as well. Me too. I think about you all the time. <laughs> and, you know, I, I try to write my thoughts down. I just never get the courage to actually send it. Now, some good news for fans of Bridget Jones. She's coming back. Well, a third film in any series is always going to be quite tricky because there's a lot of baggage, especially coming with characters like this. Um, it has been nine years since the last movie, but the benefit of that is the fact that a lot of us will have gone through a lot of things in that decade, and so will Bridget Jones. And there is that warmth that you can go through this with characters that you know. There's that affinity, there's that relationship, and that really is the kind of thing that money can't buy. Well, it's been ten years since the last Toy Story movie, and this has been four years in the making. But finally, Toy Story 3 is here. Now, Andy's all grown up, he's off to college, and the toys, well, they're off to daycare. What happens next, I shouldn't really tell you. But this time round, we meet a whole host of new characters, including Mr. Pricklepants, the thespian hedgehog, and Ken, Barbie's love interest, and this is his playhouse. When Gotham is ashes, you have my permission to die. People seeing the preview in cinemas have been complaining that they can't understand what he's saying. Well, apparently, director Chris Nolan's taken that on board and has redone the sound mix to make it clearer. A test audience has heard the new version and says it's a lot better. Or, as Bane would say... <laughs> Today, a sneak glimpse of the new film Spectre emerged. The trailer was released, and according to some, it came with a few hidden messages. But what's mm. your theory, Simon? Well, let's go double-o nerd on this. OK, let's go deep. Um, there are rumours that his character, who has a name, um, is in fact Blofeld. There are some clues in this trailer. At about 1 minute 47 in the okay. full trailer, they use a little bit of the score from On Her Majesty's Secret Service, which was the film in which James Bond's wife was killed by Blofeld. If acting, you want to take a break, Kira on The X Factor. Wow. Can imagine you coming out. Kira Knightley! That would be amazing. Yeah. Is that what they do on The X Factor? They do, they intro everybody. Do they? Yeah. I've never seen it, actually. You've never seen... I've never seen The what X Factor. Been... I mean, I was going to say, what have you been doing? You've been doing? acting, kind yeah, of no. making movies. I quite like that kind of big voice saying, Kira Knightley! That Kira really Knightley! Cool. That's worth doing, isn't In it? In the over 25s! Awesome. Yeah. Well, that's a bit much, all yeah, right. Would you have to give a lady's <laughs> age? Be Come barely, on. sorry. <laughs> In 2009, the movies had a massive makeover. Critics say, under a new director, the films became much more glamorous. Well, Star Trek always used to be very chin strokey and taking itself very seriously. Uh, when the director J.J. Abrams was given the franchise back in 2009, he made it a lot more accessible. You've been out and about in London a lot, uh -huh. looking very, very glamorous. Now, being oh. a new mum, have you had that badge of honour where you've gone out and unwittingly been sort of rocking a little bit of puke <laughs> on a top? Yes, I do have the spit-up shirts. You've banged out loads of ballads over the years, but have you ever met a fan whose child has been conceived to one of your songs? Oh, God, I hope no one tells me that. <laughs> Disney has announced it's going to make a new Star Wars film every year. Two men who were shivering with enjoyment at that um, particular clip. A film critic Simon Thompson and the man you just saw fighting Luke Skywalker, the original Darth Vader himself, David Prowse. Simon's beside himself that he sat as the original Darth Vader. Have you got a question for him? It looks like you do. Oh, I mean, the thing is, being a massive Star Wars nerd, there are so many yeah. questions. But the thing yeah, is yeah. with this, when fans meet people like Darth Vader, yeah, yeah, Dave, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, you, do you want to know the secrets behind there, or will it spoil the magic? Do you not have much of a booty banter then? What is with you and what? I don't. I can't help you it. You said they Uber just... about four times. I haven't mentioned it, but you have. Okay, thank you. Gone Goozle. They just fall out of my mouth. Because when you came in here, you, yeah. you were saying, right, we're gonna, we have a structured interview. I, I thought, Christ, who is this, the Guardian? Look at these questions. <laughs> oh, come on! Out of control. You won't get any other questions like this today. I like it. Okay, that's good. It's fun. See ya.